kidnapped and held for ransom. Tonight, this great-grandmother's family is pleading for help. We miss you, and we can't wait to have you home safe. 63-year-old Maria del Carmen Lopez, an American citizen, split her time between Southern California and a retirement home in the small town of Pueblo Nuevo, Mexico. That's in one of six Mexican states where the U.S. State Department has issued a do-not-travel warning. Lopez's family says armed masked men whisked her from her home last month and they've demanded a large ransom. We were able to hear what sounds to us like a recording of her pleading for us to please help her. We don't believe it's drug related. We believe that she was again a targeted for a kidnapping. Her disappearance comes amid a string of kidnappings in Mexico. These three women are still missing after crossing the Texas border to sell clothes at a flea market. Just last week, a cartel apologized for kidnapping four Americans, killing two. Over the last several years, more than one- Only because they were black. You notice in the pattern? If you ain't black, man, it's fuck you. <laughs> if you ain't black, the government don't care about you. The cartel ain't apologizing. Man, black folk, we got it good, man. When we when, when this shit is finally over, we gonna fucking lament the fact that we spent the entire time we were on top bitching and moaning and talking about the fucking 17 and 1800s and shit. No, you you're just gonna complain that uh you don't have the supremacy anymore. We're not even going to acknowledge that we had it. You act like this never happened. We're on top, man. I don't know. People the last several years. Bitch. They huh? never stop. I said people never stop bitching. Doesn't matter what race you are. People bitch about how bad it is in this country, man. They don't even know what it's like to not have food. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not that bad here. Man. Her disappearance comes amid a string of kidnappings in Mexico. These three women are still missing after crossing the Texas border to sell clothes at a flea market. Just last week, a cartel apologized for kidnapping four Americans, killing two. Over the last several years, more than 112,000 people have been reported missing in Mexico, including more than 500 Americans. He has the biggest smile with... 500 Americans have been reported missing in Mexico in the last month. And we only know about four. Yeah, America is the only place where people in poverty drive their own cars to protests. And not to yep. mention our fat as shit and diabetic. Exactly. Fat as poor people. All the poor people are fat. If you go to the projects in any black Estonian city, there's a fucking dish hanging off of every balcony. Every fucking Sun Teens got on a $300 pair of fucking tennis shoes. It's fucking insane. People, people always say, well, it's the processed food. They, it's a food desert. I'm like, dude, man, you you can eat Doritos all day if you're fucking doing shit. It's it's calories in, calories out, man. It has nothing to do with that shit. No, they, you know, yeah. Don't get don't get caught up in the in the shit they say. Got that? You lose when you do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you lose just getting caught up in it. Just defend. You know what I'm saying? Just arguing it gets you you lose. Because you, you legitimize it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like arguing with a trans person and shit. It's like just the fact that you're like arguing with them about whether they're a woman or not, you're legitimizing it. Four Americans killing two. Over the last several years, more than 112,000 people have been reported missing in Mexico, including more than 500 Americans. He has the biggest smile with the perfect teeth. Among them, Robert Franco Jr., who was 21 years old when his mother lost contact with him during a trip to Mexico in 2017. It's very difficult. I mean, I know a lot of the families feel helpless. As for the great-grandmother who was just kidnapped, the FBI is now offering a $20,000 reward for any information leading to her location. 